Praise the Lord. Turn to your neighbor and tell them Jesus is the reason for the Easter season. He is the reason for this Easter. I want you to understand, even viewers around the world, if you talk to top rabbis who are dedicated to the sacrifice, they will tell you something very, very, very exciting. That the lamp, the day it is born, is the day it will die. So if it is born this week, one year after that, it will die in the same week. That means the death of Jesus is the same day he was born. No, they didn't get what I just said. So Isa is not a celebration of his death only, but also his birth. Because he was the perfect sacrifice. I don't know if you are hearing this. Raise your hands. We understand now, fire on the altar. Fire on the altar. It's a fire on the altar season. Tonight is no different. Just raise your hands. Denzel, get ready. Fire on the altar. Raise your hands. Begin to pray. Rosimakama. I live my life on the altar. As we worship, you're worshiping with him. Jesus might name. Raise your hands and begin to sing with him. Fire, fire, fire. The fire on the altar. I can fire, confuse me. Fire on the altar. Lita Khan. I see fire, fire on the altar, fire consuming fire. I see fire, fire on the altar, fire. I see fire, fire, fire. I see fire, fire on the altar, fire. Little cock, cock,
Jesus. Since it is a season of milk and honey. Oh, Lord, Lord. Come on, come on, come on. 
Come on, come on. Get on your dancing shoes, somebody. Yeah, we got Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you feel it, sir? Can you feel it, sir? Here we go. Yeah. I've got so much to tell the world. I've got so much to justify. I've got so much to tell the world. I've got so much to justify. I am shining. I am rising. For the glory of the Lord is upon me. Da -da 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 Jesus. Praise the Lord. Who doesn't want honey? I don't know if it's even here. Jesus.
No. Anyway.
Jesus. Are you celebrating? Your salvation came because of this Easter. And God is still doing home visits. He is visiting you tonight. I said he is visiting you tonight. God is still doing home visits. Do something. Because we want you to do something in a few minutes. Just do something. Yeah. 
Ata kupigania Ukondi wako Eh, eh, eh here grip somebody's hand and i want you to do as you are daughters and sons of a prophet begin to decree and declare to them that they will prosper they will increase because jesus is the season not just the reason because a prophet is a season whenever a prophet comes in that's a season coming into your life begin to decree to the neighbor you are holding the hand just begin to decree that something greater is happening. Barata Kabaya. Sepayo. Leso Kopaya dia Karadia Zahado. Le Rouge Tia Pranto. Le Prakate Jacatalia Paradia Zacatole Pegate. Reso Cotolia Paradia Sato. Le Cunte Eredia Taliga Abrahagata Paha. Shereke Teleprodia Talapaya dia Talamoto. Recontolica Paradia Sate. La Jacatala Pragadia Talagiso. Ye Contolica Paradia Zato. Rata Kapaya dia Talamato Potegate. Rasha Catali Prakatalia Talagiso. Ye Contolica. Pray. Fire on that altar. Fire. Fire on that altar. Fire on that altar. Keep pushing that fire. Bareta Kabala. Fire. 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 Fire on that altar. Fire on the altar. In Jesus. Might name we pray. Right as I'm talking to you now, there is a pure thing when we are dealing with fire on the altar. I want you to turn to your neighbor and say, altar versus altar. What happens if your altar is not responding to another altar? Imagine right now as we speak, some of you are relaxed when we pray. But what you do not understand is your great-grandfather sacrificed your children on the altar before they came. Because for there to be an altar, there should be another altar antagonizing your altar. What happens if your great-grandfather was dedicating your whole family to a God that they worshipped? What happens 
if what you thought was a small mistake in the technology of miracles, maybe in your faith you thought this was a lack of faith. And there is a habit that the devil is now wrecking half of in your family as a habit. And you thought it was just because you didn't have faith. Whereas it was another altar. Causing your altar to lose power. I'm speaking to somebody now. And I understand that some of you do not have a realization that God has an understanding as God that he cannot fail. Mm. What's this now? What's this? This is a serious night. We started by celebrating. You didn't know why we enacted celebrating. Because I'm dealing with engaging the technology of altars. And I assure you after this, after tonight, no one will stand before you to challenge you. Anyone who stands before you to challenge you shall die by correction. Shall die by an altar. What were you thinking when the prophet was calling for fire to come down to consume 50s? 50, fire, 50, fire, and they were consumed. Where was he taking fire? It seemed as if he had a silo, a container of fire. He had an ability to distribute fire, to go to his Location where fire is sealed, open the door of fire and collect a piece of fire and lock it and say, come, 50 soldiers, fire. Then he, the, the king sent another one. He said, take fire again. Fire! Where was Elijah bringing fire? What economy was he taking fire from? And by killing 50s, Per opportunity, he was killing 50 this time, 50 next time, 50 another time. That means he could distribute the same fire. It wasn't one type of fire on the altar and throws it there. No, he knew where to go and collect the fire. This is a serious message, and you will thank me for ages. For this revelation of fire on that altar. As you're standing like that. Job chapter number 40 verse number 15. I want you to understand this. Now here. Job 40 verse number 15. Quickly because of time. Behold now behemoth. <laughs> Shout behemoth. Behold now behemoth, which I made with thee. Mm. Ah, he eats grass as an ox. Lord, now his strength is in his loins, and his force is in his navel of his belly. He moveth his tail like cedar. His sinews, his tendons, if you are not a King James person, his, his tendons, are like stones that are wrapped together. <laughs> what kind of animal is this? His bones are as strong as pieces of brass. And his bones are like bars of iron. What kind of animal? It could not be a dinosaur. I will tell you this. He is, now he is a scripture you have not seen. He is the chief of the ways of God. Do you know what that means? That means this is the first animal God created. Then every animal he copied this one. This was his frame. He put behemoth there. Even a rat came from behemoth. A lion from behemoth. An elephant from behemoth. This no, no, you are, you are missing this. Let me go here. Now watch this. 
Can you kill Behemoth? The Bible says, no, sir. He that made it, meaning God, is the only one who can approach him with a sword. What kind of animal cannot be killed by a human being? What is it? Science has not discovered it. Your teacher never taught you. Zoologists don't know it. They can't capture it. The Bible actually confesses that it's only God who can approach it with a sword. But what kind of sword is he having? Let's go. Barati no mahi. Surely, the mountains I bring him forth food. The mountains. Is the mountains that match to him and offer him food. The mountains with their food, they grow. Fruits come out of trees so that they feed the behemoth. They know they have an assignment as mountains. <laughs> now watch this. Watch this. Where all the beasts of the field play. He lieth under his shady trees in the covert of the greed and fence. Now hear me well. Hear me well. The shady trees cover him with their shadow. The willows of the brook compass him about. Here is where you want to understand. Behold, he drinketh up a river. I'm going. This is not working. I can see you are missing it. So I'm going now. What kind of an animal gets to the river? All of it. So some of the things you call drought in countries, trust me, God has grabbed me by the hand and showed me wonders you cannot understand. Have you ever been taken to the storage of anointing? Where angels are standing at God like this. Have you ever seen where they manufacture music? You see musicians just singing there. You think it's a hit. From where? Angels are in factories. Manufacturing music. Then a musician sits by the organ. And an angel flies. Puts inspiration on top of the head. And all of a sudden, one tunes matches another. And another tune. And you think, this man is a wonder. No, he received a wonder. Where are prophecies stored? <laughs> That's why the Bible is not talking about learning the spiritual. The spiritual is caught. It cannot be taught. It is something you catch. Right now as I'm moving now, somebody's catching something. I said somebody's catching something. It's going to be very short but powerful. He drinketh up a river. <laughs> and does not hurry. Hesteth not. A whole river. <laughs> he trusteth. That he can draw up all of Jordan into his mouth. No, no, no. Not into his belly. The Jordan. Do you know what Jordan is? <laughs> the Bible says Jordan during time of harvest. Jordan will be overflowing. It will be like a flood. And he says he can put it in his mouth. <laughs> it's in the mouth. It has not gone to the belly. And Jordan is lack of water. What kind of animal is this? Yes. He taketh it with his eyes. <laughs> Even his eyes just look at the water. The water will disappear. <laughs> if you set snares, says his nose will pierce through the traps. His nose, not his hands, not his legs, no. Now imagine you don't know what type of animal is this. And the Bible says it can only be killed by God. What if it is the one responsible for lack of? There we go. What if it's responsible?
for the death in your family, for the premature death in your family. We, we wrestle not. <laughs> again, it's flesh and blood. But again, it's principalities and powers and sin forces. Mm. Now, just imagine... You don't know this animal. I can go on to other animals you have no idea. Leviathan. <laughs> it walks in the sea as if it's a road. And scientists are trying to figure out what did God say. No say. They say some, some dino, dinosaurs were killed by men and a comet killed most of them. If they were killed by men, they are not behemoth. According to God, it's a creature that collects the river Jordan. And you go there, you say there is drought because of river Jordan. You think it's drought, yet it's behemoth. What if it has arrived to your bank account? What if your father who is dead was because of behemoth? Now you see, there is a technology. Malish Koma. Let me go to my people here. They understand me better. What is it that can kill behemoth? He says, by God, he is the one who can approach it by the sword. Let's go, sir. What creates animals like this? My son here, I gave him just oil. I said, go. As I, I laid here, soil here, I said, step on this soil. And they stepped on the soil. And the prophet was here. Uh, and when he saw it, he saw him rush and grab the soil and put it here. I said, I'm going with it. As he followed, the prophet, one of the prophets came here and said, prophet, I show your son, take this one. I copied. He is a prophet. He copied. Said, I copied. Said, now, now, I'm going to Ghana and use this. I don't know what your son needs. Then my son came to me and said, look, I'm going to go to my area and put it. You know, Nigerians call it a compound. I'll just... Spread the soil there. He did it within a few hours. Snakes came out. Not one, not two, no, snakes. Imagine living with snakes. What is this power, sir? Eliezer, the son of Dodo, the Hawaii. He was called Eliezer, the son of Dodo. The Ahoa height. How he fought with the sword in his hands. Hundreds of people, one man, defending a field of Bali. And in some cases, it says the field of Lentils. One man. Again, it's over 800 people. And the Bible says he grabbed that weapon, fought with it, and killed everyone until the weapon stuck to his hands and became one with the weapon. What technology are they using? What system are they employing that you don't know? I'm here to tell you. There is a technology. I said there is a technology. <laughs> ah, now watch this. Hi. Are you here? What about Abishai? How he grabbed the weapon. 300 men. One by one as they came. <laughs> 300 again is one man weak man turned valiant weak man engaged in warfare they could have died if they had not unlocked this technology I'm about to give you tonight yeah. have you ever wondered how human angel is attacked every time and still better than his enemies. I'm talking to myself. I need to get here. Still 
They can't bring me down. I understand there is an excitement that if you mention you an angel, you might even make your own name go high. I understand. This is what I call the revelation of Saza. You know in order to eat at your house, you have to mention angels somewhere. Put him in a scandal somewhere. So your name that is useless can also be up. That's what the Bible says. A good name is difficult. A good name. How many times they try to bring me down? You know why I don't go down? I don't know of anything called down. <laughs> My father, Pastor Chris, said this way. He said, if they say prices are going higher, tell them we are going higher than the prices. I said we are going higher than the prices. We are going higher than the prices. Now hear me. Hear me well. Hear me well. Hear me well. What about Benaya? Abishai, brother of Joab. 300 men killed by one man. Do you need enemies at that level? <laughs> are you hearing me? Benaya. The Bible says... He was moving and he heard that it was a snowy day, cold, chilly location. And a lion came and the lion fell in a pit. And the lion is roaring because he's hungry. It's a snowy day and he's hungry. And Benaiah went down to the lion and gave it one slap. And the lion died. What technology are they using? <laughs> Turn to your neighbor. Say engaging the technology of priesthood. <laughs> I don't know if you are hearing what I'm talking about. Sit down, sit down in a few minutes. In a few minutes, some of you will understand the technology of priesthood. Number 16, verse number 44. Number 16, verse number 44. If you have a neighbor next to you, just tell them, it's time. It's time to control. It's time to control. Way back in our Shona language, when we were at the granite side, we used to use this statement. Turn to your neighbor and say, Kuti rich kise. <laughs> if they ask you, why do you move like this? Why do you drive like this? Why do you wear clothes like this? Mm -hmm. And the Lord spake unto Moses saying, mm, Get ye up from this congregation. Ah! Imagine God arrives, grabs a prophet and says, Move away from them. Move away from them. Why? I want to do something. That I may consume them as in a moment. God says, I want to kill them. But you, my prophet, no, 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 no. Why? Even God observes the law that says, do not touch my anointed. To my prophets, do no harm. God says, no prophet, move away. I can't oppose my own word. I knew you were not here, so I'll pretend you are here. Anyone here under the influence of my voice, because of this Easter, priesthood will become your Charika Mahande Sekeba. Jesus. There are people here. I did not expect you to be here. But God was waiting for you to be here. God simply said, test them. They might not be here. And I've just seen three now. You have passed your test. I said you have passed your test. I can see it now. Those who are sitting right there. 
you see where I pointed? By Monday. Uh, they are not, they are here, they are here, they are here. By this Monday, if you really believe I'm a prophet, that job you might not need it. Viewers all over the world, catch that anointing, catch that spirit, catch it now, catch it now, catch it now, catch it now. Now hear me, hear me well. We are still moving with this. Malaysian or Mahega goes came in. We are going to numbers in a few minutes. But remember, John the Baptist was a son of a priest. What am I talking about? I'm talking about engaging the technology of priesthood. You say, Prophet, I don't understand what you're talking about. We talked about fire. But why a priest? The Bible says, your word, O Lord, is settled in heaven, not on earth. Maybe they didn't get it. The word of God is only settled in heaven, not on earth. Your will be done. On earth as it is. So the will of God is settled where? In heaven, but not here. What it requires is an enactment of this desire and this will of God. And that takes the technology of priesthood on how to know what a priest is. Remember the Bible says we are kings and priests, not prophets and priests. Amen. Come on. I want to show you something. Let's go. Numbers. The book of Numbers. Are you still here? Get you up from this congregation. I want to consume them as in a moment. And they fell upon their faces. Mm. And Moses said unto Aaron, take a censer. Ha! Moses says, take a censer. Son, come. He says, take a censer and put fire therein from off the altar. And put an incense. And go quickly to the congregation. So you go in the middle there. You see where he is? First year. Now he says, go in the middle. Of the congregation and make an atonement for them as a priest. The prophet says, I can't do it. I'm a prophet. Mm. But a priest can do it. Now, I'm about to tell you something, but you will not understand it. So I'll try by all means to pretend you are actually PhD students. Pray hard daily students. They, 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 you will get it when you get home. Because I could see it. Are you PhD? Do you pray hard daily? Mm -hmm. Now hear this. Hear this. Hear this. And put on incense. And go quickly unto the congregation. And make an atonement for them. For there is a wrath gone out from the Lord. The plague has begun. The prophet knows the disease has started. But the prophet knows I can't stop it. This is the problem of the prophets of today. We can't tell priests what to do. And the Bible says we are kings and priests. But as believers, we are already priests, all of us, including me, the prophet. But we are not all prophets. That means there is still a need for the prophet to instruct the priest. No, no, you, you didn't get it. I'm going to go deeper on this one now. I'm going to go deeper on this one. I feel this excitement in me. I have a strange feeling that tonight is a game changer. I don't know why, but I have a strange feeling that tonight is a game changer. Tonight is a game changer. Tonight is a game changer. Tonight... Some of you, don't just say hallelujah. No, in that hallelujah, know how to capture the miracle. How do you capture? 
Imagine the thing you wanted being available to you. So when I say something you like, don't just say, hallelujah. No. If you can, even close your eyes and imagine that Mercedes Benz being packed at you. I, imagine that wedding. Imagine, imagine that miracle. Imagine that tumor going. Imagine that cancer living. Imagine it. Your imaginative ability is your creative ability. Hmm. Behold, the plague was begun among the people. Now hear this. And Aaron took as Moses commanded, as the prophet commanded, he took. Ah, and ran into the midst of the congregation. And behold, the plague was begun among the people. And he put incense. Who is doing this? The priest. Who instructed the prophet. So the prophet was able to prophesy. But the priest has the technology to stop the disease. So who stopped the disease? The prophet. Who stopped the disease? The priest. I'm going deeper. He put on incense and made an atonement for the people. Mm. And there's he stood between the dead and the living. So, so, watch this. So, Aaron is standing between the dead and the living. The dead to his left, the alive, the ones living to his right. Imagine the disease was sweeping across the crowds. And as it went like this, it got to a certain demarcation where the priest stood and the disease was afraid of the priest. It couldn't continue. I don't know what it, whether it is COVID, 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 whatever it is, it can stop by the engagement of the technology of priesthood. Ah! <laughs> listen, listen. Maha, the matriarch, the, the, the great patriarch of my father, who is Archbishop Benson Idahosa. A region, one person raped another, raped another, and there was a problem there. And they were not becoming as the Christians that he believed that they could be. He stood and said, because it has happened, let a plague consume the whole village. Everyone in that village diseases started by one man's mouth. Who can you kill? The power of a boss is not seen in firing or in hiring. It is seen only in firing. Hiring can be done by any fool. No. You didn't hear. No, no. Let me say here. The power of a boss is not in hiring. It is mainly in firing. You don't just walk into a room and go say, yeah, we have just fired your secretary to the boss. The power of a prophet is not seen in prophesying. It is seen in killing. If you can't take life, you are not a prophet. Ah, I knew you were not here. There are men in the Bible who are able to remove oxygen before it enters your nostrils. They can grab it and say you will not see it. I'm not even talking to these people. I thought I was going now. <laughs> A prophet's main power is in taking life. Simon, prophet, are you talking about witchcraft? No. We can take life from witches. What do you think your miracle is coming from? It's coming from killing the thing that is taking your thing. Uh, you are not hearing what I'm talking about. The Bible says, when King Usia died, I saw the Lord. Notice here. I know that verse has been butchered by so many theologians and so many pastors. Forgive them. 
Because it doesn't mean to say Uzziah was the demon that was preventing the prophet Isaiah from seeing. No, Uzziah was actually the best king that loved Isaiah. But Isaiah as a prophet became dependent on the king. So God says, I will kill what you think is your source. So you can see me as your source. I'm speaking to somebody here. The technology of priesthood would help you not to become dependent on somebody. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Uh, I'm about to go there. I'm about to go there. <laughs> what, what do you kill? Uh, what grave is, is allocated to you? Where they say this man died because of that one. But your children are dying because of someone. <laughs> You're not hearing me. My brother and my sister are here now. We were right in the depth of Zaka. My own mother who was a Christian. One lady just came and told her not to pass a tree. To pass, no, just come here, but don't, 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 please, don't follow me. At her own house, our own house, she went like this. The leg broke. One word from a witch. This is the mother of a prophet. Yes, I was very young. But imagine the power of somebody just talking and you can generalize it. Say, I think she just stepped in the wrong way. No, how is she stepping the wrong way when she has just been told not to go there? And she had every right at her own house to say, you leave. I know what you do. Waker of darkness, leave. As she goes, this witch leaves like this. She said, don't, don't. Don't pass here. Oh, your own house. You are told the demarcation at your own house. Uh, <laughs> your own location. <laughs> Somebody here, by reason of this technology, no one will tell you anything. If you can kneel before God, you can stand before any man. Let me tell you something. I said if you can kneel before God, you can stand before any man. Amen. Sit down. Sit down. Look at the technology. What is it? Where is my, where is my Aaron? Jesus, where did you go, Aaron? <laughs> Let's go to the scripture quickly because, because of time. And he stood between the dead and the living. And the plague was stayed. Do you know when he says the plague was stayed? Do you know when he says the plague was stayed? The plague was stayed because of a very simple thing. Watch this. Watch this. And they, they that died, watch this, what's the number? They that died in the plague were 14,700. Ah! 14,700 are dead. And Aaron stands in the middle and the disease cannot jump to the other people. You see, I knew you were not hearing me. Notice here, we are in a world where we can no longer tell. We are in a world where we can no longer tell the priest what to do. Because the prophet is not the one who's made the disease not to go. It is the priest. But the priest was told instructions by the prophet. Now in this day and age, we can no longer tell you, the priest, what to do. So we end up prophesying to you and say, God is going to bless you. Is your mother this? Yes. Is your father this? Yes. You're going to be a millionaire in five years. I have skipped where you should give $2,000. Because I'll be in the newspaper tomorrow if I say it. So I'm no longer giving you the instructions. I'm just giving you the prophecy. So I'm telling Aaron to stand in the middle between the dead and the living and never tell him what to do with the incense. I knew you were not, you are missing this one. I'll go there. Even when we walk in the streets, prophesy to me, men of God, please just one word. They want a word, but not the instruction that will bring the manifestation. Hmm. 
I knew I, I attached the wrong nerve. Attached the wrong nerve. Shout, preach, prophet, preach. I'm doing the best I can. Shout, preach, black man. I'm doing the best I can. How is it possible that I cannot tell you the instruction I prophesied to a man, to a lady from Oldham in Manchester and she had come to church as I began to prophesy. I told you how she was going to prosper, how she was going to get a job. Then I got to a point where I said, now when you get home, behind this chimney, fireplace, there is an idol of Buddha. God throw it away. When you throw it away, the job will come. Huh? What do you mean? She said, I don't know anything about Buddha. I said, this is what God is telling me. She went home, found a picture and a small thing like this of Buddha. Grabbed that thing and the picture. Went outside and threw it in the bin. For two years, she had not gotten any job. As she was going back, before she opened the door to get back, a phone rang. A company she never applied for. Two years. They are giving her a job. There is an instruction I gave a priest. See, reasons why your prophets never comes to pass is because all you want is a word. You don't want the instruction. So I, I know if I tell you the instruction, you will not like it. So I end on prophecy and hope by God that my faith will carry you. But remember what I told you, what I told you when I was dealing with the issue of, of give me fire or I die. I mentioned one thing that hide from the kitchen. If you want fire, hide from the kitchen. One slice of bread is tons on you in the spiritual realm. The spirits don't like food. They know it's a heavy thing. <sighs> Do they even hear? The spirits don't like food. They don't. Ah, they were given the food of angels. And the food of angels, you can't keep it until tomorrow. That's right. It is only for that day. That's why you have never seen any description of a big angel that goes up to them. No, no obese angel. No, no slim one. No, they are all just. Why? Because that food is not making you big or small. Just makes you an angel. They ate the food of angels. It was not that. The children of Israel complained. They said, we want meat. Why? <laughs> I told you before, food is a burden in the spirit. It's an obstacle in the spirit. There are some people who sit around the plate like this. When they eat, they'll be sweating. <laughs> no one is even chasing them. They are the only one around that table. Only one. Salad. Chicken, beef. Pork is there. Lasagna. One loaf of bread. So it doesn't matter. We were not finding these people, be these things before. Ah, ah. <clears throat> Let me tell you something. Food is a burden. But we cannot tell you this because you, there is a thing here that is called the Technology. Hear this. But whenever, whenever there was a problem, whenever there was a problem, the priest is instructed by the prophet. I've moved in town. In Manchester, London, you will meet somebody who knows you. So prophet, prophet, please, prophet, just one. Even in Dubai, we're moving with my wife here. And, 
And Arab men came close, locked the doors of his, his, his shop. We even have the photos here. Locked. I said to his, to his workers, get into the back room. Close the door there. I said, now tell me. You came out of here, I researched you. You say you do prophecy. I said, sir, is it not Muhammad the last prophet? He said, but they say you do the thing that should be done by Muhammad. I said, okay, don't call me prophet. Don't call me anything. But let me do what a prophet does. <laughs> no singing, sir. No, ma'am, no singing. No. We are not the ones that need singing for you to, for us to get in. No, 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 no. Ati varwine shi profita. Ati noto so varir. Watato buda. Shi profita. Ati shino saracha varu. Wa waibata. Hey. Ati balash kupera in the vretega na sateka. I'm in that shop. I begin to read the tombstone of his mother. This is a Muslim. <laughs> I believe it was Dubai Mall. Dubai Mall. And I'm in there, and I started explaining when the mortgage was refused and the letter and the debt and told him that next week, don't worry about it. On this day, they will send you another one because I came here. Ah! Ah! Told him when his mother died. He, said, he started asking the guys I was with, he said, what, what is he doing now? Said exactly. Do you did you tell him before? Said no. This is this, this is scary. How does he know this? How do you know? I said you said I'm a prophet. <laughs> and you are sitting right there. You think we are here to joke? No, we are priests engaging the technology of priesthood. So by prophecy, I knew the outcome. But by priesthood, I knew how to fix him to a point where he gets what he needed. What do you think? When I come to, remember the lady, the recent, this is a recent one, the lady that had that child, that, that the doctors were saying, this is a girl we turned into a boy. Hmm? When we were doing it, I was doing it as a prophet to detect what child is in the womb, as the scan would have detected it. That's a prophet. But the priesthood was when I said, let me negotiate for 30 minutes. My negotiations were not done as a prophet. I did it as a priest. Why do you think God knowing the man is a prophet, he begins to ask him, why did Sarah laugh? Did I laugh? Why can't you ask him? Because the man is the priest of the home. But most of you women don't get it. That's why divorce is always on the purpose and on the cards. The husband is the priest in the home. And most of you men don't get it too. The women are saying we should remain there a little bit. <laughs> because imagine 1 a.m. It is your wife going. What about you? I, I don't know people who snore. How on earth can't you wake up because of the sound you are making? <laughs> I, am, I can't understand these things. If they are not snow, snoring, what happens? Do you know what happens? If you play a music double, then the same sound, theirs is a little bit higher. Too many decibels. Sounds like Jezebels. <laughs> and they, they do music, eh? <laughs> 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 
you wonder why. <laughs> and yet your wife is the one standing for the family. Early in the morning, your wife is already passing the round, around the house. No enemy is coming here. No enemy is coming here. My husband is protected. The, the husband is dreaming with his friend somewhere. <laughs> Meanwhile, your whole generation has been sacrificed by a great, great grandfather. Remember, I am not talking about generational cases. There is nothing called generational cases. Hear me well. It's a lie. <laughs> In the New Testament, there is only generational blessing. The Bible says there is no more curses. Why? Because cursed is everyone that hangeth upon a tree. And Jesus hung upon a tree to remove the curse. So where are you getting the generational curse from? It's a comparison of gods. Your whole family was worshipping one God. And another family is worshipping Jehovah. But this one was dedicating your whole family, your womb, everything to that God. So when you give birth to your child, he's already dead. In the womb, they've already been sacrificed. That's why I say to you, you need fire. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You want to get married without fire, it's a mistake. Because you are joining a man with too many demons. Why is Pastor Bevan here? Come here. Where is he? No, he's working. Come here. Are you getting this? Your whole family is moving to higher degrees. There is a movement. Are you hearing this? There is a movement comparing gods. What are you going to do? As I said before, what are you going to do if your whole family has already been sacrificed? What are you going to do if your whole family now has someone standing on the altar more than you stand on your own altar? That's now where spirits are judging which altar is bringing what fire. Now I know what you think. If you just say in the name of Jesus it fixes things. No, you're lying. If you are here and you are telling the truth, raise your hand and mine is already up. You have prayed in the name of Jesus and it is not worked. Anyone with their hand down is a liar. Uh, you tried in the name of Jesus. It did not work until you say Yeshua. That one did not work too. <laughs> then you went to Amashia. <laughs> Do you know the word name there is the word Anoma? It means character of Jesus. So it's not a password. Demons will look at you and go like, eh, you are calling what again? You are saying in the character of Jesus, hmm, you, <laughs> you have a character of Jesus, you. That's why the sons of Skeba called on the name of Jesus and they were whooped. They did not say Jesus of, of Mexico, who plays good soccer, Jesus. No, they said Jesus, whom Paul preaches, they got the right one. And the demon said, don't worry, we know Jesus, the apostle we know. You, we don't. And the Bible says they were stripped naked. I, you will die like a fool. You got to have an altar that is burning consistently. Altar that is burning. Altar that is burning. <laughs> Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. For his loyalty. Let fire. Speak for him. Rise up as a CEC member. Now.
Are you still here? There is fire on the altar. Fire for you on that altar. Fire for you on that altar. Are you hearing this? Are you still here? There is a move. I said there is a move. There is a move. Dedication and loyalty will bring you fire unimaginable. I want you to see what is written in the scriptures there. Let's take the scripture back so that you know what happened. Ah, verse number 44, believe me. Verse number 44. I want you to see something. I want you to see something. Are you hearing this? Yeah. Give me my... Pastor, come. Hold this one. Mm-hmm. More. More, sir. More, more. No, please, don't be stingy. Yes, like this, yes. Hold it like that. Hear this. And the Lord spoke to Moses saying, "Mm -hmm. get up from among this congregation that I may consume them. As in a moment they fell upon their faces. Let's go. And Moses said unto Aaron, take a censer, put fire therein from off the altar. Hi. Now, now you see here, he's here. Aaron, watch this now. Now, take fire from the altar. So he's taking what? A portion of it. Not all of it. He is not told to take the thing to the altar. No. An altar is a production system for fire. That's where when the vicissitudes of life come to confront you, you say, wait a minute. This is mm, this is my child sick. This is no longer normal. What do you do? You go to your altar. Where you loaded fire, collect a piece of the fire that is in conjunction with the problem you are facing. No, they didn't get it. They didn't get it. Now, so I can have a problem. How do I measure the fire that is needed for the thing? Psalm 5, verse number 1. You know that one. The message Bible. Listen, God. Imagine having that confidence where you go before God and say, listen. Ah." That is only done by people who have a certain love affair with God where you can hug him. Have you ever hugged God? You see. Let, Let me come here. Have you ever hugged God? I know they are liars here. Where you are just in your room like this and act like a prophet and he gave me a scroll and he tasted as honey. What's sweet? The word. Just do, me, if I sit with people who want to talk about the word, I get excited. Scriptures, just, just this one and that one, that one. Throwing this scripture and that one. I remember Sia was called by Pastor Chris and Pastor Chris said, do you know why I love your father? Just one of the reasons. I want to tell you one of the reasons. He said, I don't know, say. He said, because when I speak to him, he will go deeper into the word. It's only the word that we discuss and we go deeper and deeper. And me, I don't let Pastor Chris just go, go and say something that I don't trust and I don't believe. I will give him scriptures right there. Yes, he will prove me wrong afterwards. But, <laughs> but I'm not going to be like... Like, oh, wow, thank you, Pastor. Thank you so much. Oh, that's brilliant. No, I quote scriptures. And I think you are forgetting this scripture. He says, read it. Then I read it. Say, no, 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 continue. Then I read the next scripture. There, I said, don't worry. I know what you're saying. You are right. That's where I learned how to not do a rap case on a scripture. You grab it by the neck and say, yes, say what I need. <laughs> Are you getting this? Are you getting this? Okay, let me show you something. Mm. Are you, are you flowing? Mm. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you 
Male sekina barano skeda girano lekano sa. Hebrews 13 verse number 5. I want to show you something. Hebrews 13 verse number 5. And I'm coming back to this. Uh, let your conversation. Are you here? Look up, look up, look up. Look up. Read it. Don't worry. You, you, you. This is better than your, your Bible. Let your conversation. Now, let's go to 6. Let's go to 6. Let's go to 6. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is what? My helper. I will not fear. Let's go to 5. No, you didn't get it. What is the last line? One, two, three. I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. How many have said that to God before? Yes, it's wrong. You shouldn't even speak that word. Do you see what rap casing a scripture is? That's rapping a scripture. Let me show it again. I know you. Father, in the name of Jesus, you will never leave me nor forsake me. No. That is not for you. That is a statement God said. Trying to provoke another statement. Let me read it for you. Go back to five. Let your conversation be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. Since he said, who said? God said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So that you say what? That's what you should say, not what he said. He said it wanting you to say this. No, I, I knew you were not going to get it. You are not going to get it. I knew this. So I don't speak, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. No, he said it wanting you to say something. The reason why he said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you, is your spirit can come up and say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear what men will do to me. There are even songs now. He will never leave me, no for say. God is wondering, what are you saying? I said this, wanting you to say something. Now you are saying what I said. Don't just grab a scripture and make it say what you like. Right now, this scripture, you have used it for your boyfriend. This man has left me. But you said you never leave me. You are my husband. Hey. <laughs> God is your husband. Sit down now. Let's go back. Let's go back to our scripture. I'm about to finish now. The technology of priesthood. What man can grab a weapon until it is now part of his end? One time, David used three of his mighty men. He said, go to that Philistine country. And the garrison was there. And the garrison is 2,000 men to 10,000. And the, in other, in other uh, uh, references, they say around 13,000, 12,000 men. Imagine 12,000 men arrayed in armory, in armory clothing, with armory everywhere, with weapons everywhere, and they are standing there and protecting the wearers of the Philistines. And David says, um, I'm thirsty. They bring water from his neighborhood. He says, I don't like this water. Bring me the one guarded by 12,000. Ah! The three men said, don't worry. Don't say it twice. We have heard you. Three. Twelve thousand. They went into the twelve thousand. Killed all of them. For water. They took the cup and brought it to David and said, drink. He looked at it and said, I will not use water. I, I don't like it anymore. He put it on the ground. How many do you kill for water? <laughs> you, your whole family now is bankrupt. Your whole family is being killed left, right, center, back, forward. Everything. Your whole family is being scattered. Held, uh, uh, now they are gone now. Your mother died. Your father died. Your uncle died. Your grandmother died. Your brother died. Your sister is dying. And this one, your grandmother is in the hospital now, dying. And yet, one man can kill 12,000 for a drink of water that he never drinks. What is it that 
the man called Stephen heard that God would leave the throne and stood up when Stephen was being stoned to inspect the damage. Yet entire countries can burn. Villages, towns can burn. And God never stands up from the throne. Stephen is being stoned. He stands. He says, I saw heaven open. And the son of man standing up from the throne. Look in the whole Bible. You will find there are very few times where God comes out and stands. As a matter of fact, there are very few times where God does anything. He only claims the victory done by others. David wins a battle. God says, I'm I did it. He says, do you see how I defeated my enemies? Ah, when? One day I was sitting in my house like this and God said, what is that in your hands? I said, hey. No, you see, you, when God is saying, he's in your heart. I don't know what they say in the LA. I just don't have a cat. <laughs> what they say, prayer from your heart inside. Now, I'm just, I'm just holding my Bible. God says, what is that? I said, oh, your Bible? It's the Bible. He said, no. Your word of God. This is the word of God. Your word. He said, no. I said, Rema. He said, no. I tried to explain to him what Rema was. <laughs> Yours, you hear it from the heart. Me, I hear correctly. And I know this is God we're speaking. I'm not guessing when God speaks. No. I tried to to explain to him that this is the logos. He said, no. Ha! I said, no, I don't know. He said, this is a history of everyone that tried to fight me and I defeated them. <laughs> everyone. He said, everyone that stood before me and tried to fight me from Genesis to Revelation, I defeated them. When I pray, everyone is at risk. I give you the same action. When you pray, everyone shall be at risk. That's the priesthood action. Hey. I'm marketing to you the priesthood. Sit down, I'm about to finish. So now, we are back, we are back, we are back. Mm. And Moses, what happened? Said unto what? Mm -hmm. Take a censor. Put fire. Take fire from the altar. Yes. See, how does he know this one will fit? When you are now in Psalm 5, verse number 1, mm, listen, God. Listen, God. Please pay attention. Can you make sense of these rumblings, these cries? King God, I need your help. Every morning, you will hear me at it again. Every morning. Every morning. You will hear. See, this is why his messes are new every morning. Not for everyone. For the ones that are at it every morning. It's the same as I hear people say, Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. The Lord is my provider. You keep on doing great things. Liar. The one who called him Jehovah Jireh was sacrificing his children, his own son, and called him Jehovah Jireh. You are singing without sacrificing nothing. Ha. You have no right to call him any name that you have not proven the realities of. This is where your problem is as priests. You forget what scripture says and go for exactly what you want without obeying it. Now here is the problem. I've told you before. This man is at it again every morning. What is he doing every morning? Every morning, I lay the pieces of my life on the altar. Every morning, what is he doing? What is he doing? He's laying the pieces of his life on the altar. And he watches to see the fire fall. So what is prayer? It's not you informing God of what you need. 
Prayer is for your formation, not for information. Now hear this. That means prayer is a consumment of fire. It's loading fire into the granary of fire. It's not a grain, no. But I'm saying it is a silo of fire. The container of fire. That's where you are putting fire in. And then you pick one. But while it's every morning you are praying, you say now, this is the prayer request I'm going for. I need my enemies to fall by tomorrow noon. Sit down in your chair. Begin to decree. Barataka. Zokabalato. You see, you see, tongues have a certain level of starting calm. Prayer is not a sprint. It's a marathon. So don't just go, pray. Barataka. Uh-uh. Preserve your energy. Reta sumala hash kabayen. Iparuna zoom vereata. Gesuna no me etia poria dalekina. Sele runde iska uncre eta gas. Say usually a brato ziandos. Even you know these are romantic tongues. Why do they act? Why do they move like this? Because they are tongues I'm telling my lover Jesus. How I love him. Imagine if your boyfriend comes to you and says, I love you now. You'll be like, hey, 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 hey. No, calm down now. You, you, we. Come into his gates with what? Thanksgiving and praise. What kind of thanksgiving is? Hey! No, 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 no. You get to sit down. Les genovres incre angs for leos. Selur de ancre de gons of alis. Lano jonga, ancre de zevale anca, telinons de frandes elegus. Senomonja la gans de akira. Ah, selemonsa. Nezunance, nezunance, et talaguse, ferno suria tequina sate. Isum cala disque de kainas alaba. Ah! Don't just go. No, 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 no. Sit down. Wait for two minutes. Let him speak to you. Just close your eyes like this. Imagine him. Your imaginative ability is your creative ability. Daniel said, the visions of my head, not my spirit, my head troubled me. In vision, God coming to hug you. Stand up and say, come here, come here, come here. Come here, Lord Jesus. As he stands there, now I'm showering him with blessing. Le manuske daba. Ikanoske veri tanuko. Le shkanone retakobra afratetuske man. I'm envisioning malisuje ne kreta bale. Bala! Bala baya! Retamanguhu shike baye. Nesakuka da. Prakatushi emente kea. Nensa paratika namonga. Pratizo kele shekete. Mesatuli atalaka. Baratiza, 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 baratiza. Meso barakesh. Now the devil is sending signals now. But I'm sending intercontinental ballistic missiles. Tongues don't help. They don't work. Sit down. Tongues are a production system for Emma. If you speak tongues and you don't come up with a prophecy, you are wasting time. So I see Christians just go, Amen. You didn't come up with anything. Where are your tongues connected? What is the generator? No, you don't understand. Leviticus 1 verse number 7, so you understand correctly. Because I know you're not hearing. Remain here. And the sons of the priest shall put fire on the altar and lay the wood in order. Huh? Even wood should be in order. <laughs> not the... Hi. It's not talking about... It's not talking about the sacrifice. Now it's talking about the wood. That it should be in order. The wood should be in order for what reason? Because you see, if you arrange the wood 
differently. And the animal is on top and all the legs, there are no, there is no, no wood. What then happens is the offering will only burn on the upper body and yet does not consume the whole thing. Yet the law of the altar is the offering has to be consumed, all of it. So you have to arrange the wood in locations in order so that the whole offering can be consumed. So some of you can lay clubbing on the altar. But the beer is still okay at home. No, you didn't like that. So I'm going here. No, yeah. Some of you who lay the beer on the altar, but Siminov, no. Some of you will say, no, it's okay. Huh? Vodka, I'm no longer doing vodka. I was addicted to vodka, but only champagne now because it's, it's champagne. So your wood is not in order. Now I'm, I'm leaving now. Fire on that altar. Fire on the altar. Who is troubling you? Fire. What is troubling you? Fire. <laughs> the book of Numbers. Numbers chapter number 10. I want to show you something. In fact, let's not go Numbers. Go to Nehemiah. Nehemiah. Nehemiah 11. In fact, go on Nehemiah 10. Verse number 34. Malishu no makrechka mene. Nehemiah. Parito maske. Sayama to kamaliko. No, 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 no. Go to Manasa 5 right now. Manasa, Manasa. Come. Manasa 5. Look at him trying to open Manasa. There is no Manasa in the Bible. <laughs> I, saw, I saw even generals were opening Manasa now. Manasa 5. <laughs> And you think you are a priest. <laughs> your problem will become high. It will be so hard for you to come out of your problem. You don't even know there is no Manasa. Manasa 15. You were somewhere on electronic versions of the Bible like this. Are you here? Hush. Somewhere looking for Manasa. Ha. Nehemiah numbers. Ha. Where is Manas? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. For those who don't know where Nehemiah is, he's one of the 12 disciples of Jesus. It's close to the book of Revelation. Just go Nehemiah, Revelation. If you think that you need deliverance from your stupidity, may God help you. And we cast the lots among the priests and Levites. And the people, watch this, for the wood offering, to bring it into the house of our God, after the houses of our fathers, and times are appointed year by year, to burn upon the altar of the Lord our God, as it is written mm, in the law. Mm. And to bring the first fruits of our ground and the first fruits of all fruit of all trees year by year unto the house of the Lord. Imagine that the families were given time to bring wood. Family from this one, you bring on in January, you bring in February, wood. The priests of today, if we tell you what wood you should bring, it's a problem. Now look at what Nigeria and Ghana are doing. Disappointing. How people are making movies to discredit genuine prophets. So the devil has even bought into the... And you have generals, even archbishops, are appearing in movies to discredit Christianity. I understand when fake apostles do it. But when archbishops start doing it, when bishops start doing it, that are well respected in the realm, while they are highlighting a fault, they are also messing up. Because they are telling the world 
that it's okay they believe there is this fake movement. Yes, there is. But it is nothing compared to the actual thing. If you teach people fake stuff, they won't know when the real comes. Because fake things come in many forms. But real currency, real money is, you know, you know when, when the bank tellers are trained, they're not trained to spot fake currencies. They are trained on what the real money looks like. So that when the fake comes, they can see it. But we are producing even movies, even financing movies that talk again as apostles, talk again as prophets, talk again as pastors. You know what? Now Christianity is lost. People think everyone is faking. And Christians are excited when a preacher is only able to talk without power. They say this one is the genuine one. Okay, let me show you one thing. Let me show you how to spot a real genuine man of God. It's in the book of Proverbs. Mm, 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 mm. Are you here? Proverbs 14, verse number 3. I want you to see how to spot a genuine man of God and woman of God. In the mouth of the foolish is a rod of pride, but the lips of the wise shall preserve them. Where no oxen are, the crib is clean. But much increase is by the strength of the ox. If you see a man of God, where they are not maligning, saying bad things about, he has no power. He says when there is oxen in the crawl, they will be dung in there. There is dirt that they can talk about. They missed that. <laughs> no, they're not getting this. Where no oxen are, much increase comes by the strength of the oxen. So power is in the ox. But when you go to the crib of the ox, you also see cow dung. But if you don't see cow dung, there is no ox. So you want power? Look for a man with cow dung. You are not hearing me. Look for a woman of God that they are saying all kinds of things against him. Now you have power. These are tongues. Let you not kateba. Anomakwandi anebora. You don't see, if somebody is a football here and they are moving, I don't know whether it's called dribbling, and they are running like this. It's not like all the other players are going to the goalkeeper. No, they are chasing the one with the ball. If you are not fighting with the devil, you see, if you are not fighting the devil, you are walking side by side. You don't fight side by side. You fight. Now your problem is simple. You don't know. You are looking for a man who is clean. The oxen are in a crow that is dirty. You find the dirty, you found the power of the ox. But if you don't want the dirty, you have no power of the ox. The Bible says Jesus, who suffered many contradictions against himself. In other words, for you, in a layman's terms, let me come back to your level. He suffered many contradictions against himself. In other words, even the sinners called him a sinner. That's when you suffer contradictions against yourself. Are you getting this? Are you flowing or you've gone home? Now, for consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself. <laughs> Hebrews 12, 3. Such contradictions of sinners against himself. The technology of priesthood takes what is not possible now because it is only in heaven where the will of God has already been enacted. But on earth, it is not enacted. So what do I do? Ladies and gentlemen, I get to a point 
where I look for the technology of priesthood. That's why he made us kings and priests. We are priests because that work for God. Now look, Saul killed all the prophets until God was not even speaking to him using the Urim and the Tumim. Those stones on the garments of the, of the, of the priests were technology, it was a radio system. One would glow, another would glow, and they would be able to tell that this one, that was God's most God. No, no, you don't understand. The priests had 12 stones on their breasts. Those 12 stones, when they needed to hear God, and there was no prophet, they would come out and spread their hands like this, and they would glow, and it would tell them what is called the Urim and the Tumim. And the Bible says, Saul killed all the prophets until God even refused to speak to him through the Urim and the Tumim. Why was he killing the prophets? Every time a person wants to and they would kill the prophets. Why? Because the prophets would speak to the and the prophet would hear from God after the altar and then speak what the word of God was. Your problem is this, that you've killed the prophets. The Bible says the time of visitation is near. Hosea. The time of visitation is what? Is near. The prophet is seen as a fool. And the spiritual man is considered a madman. The days of punishment have come. The days of God recompensing his people. Israel shall know it. Africa shall know it. The world shall know it. For the prophet is called a fool. And the spiritual man is called mad. Because of the multitude of your sins. That's why you think a prophet is a fool. And anyone who becomes spiritual. Some of you bring your boyfriends here to church. And your girlfriends here to church. And when the prophet begins to prophesy and preach. You say hallelujah. The boyfriend said hey, hey, hey. Calm down, man. Calm down. Ha. I've seen so many people. I'll be moving with these guys here. And, and the man will be standing by his wife like this. Then the wife catches the unction. You can literally see the man is like, don't ever fall. We have problems at home. Ha. Go like this. The lady is shaking. It's about to go down. And the husband is like, no, 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 no. Don't go anywhere. He will be struggling to keep it up. Why? Don't, don't, don't disappoint me here. You are embarrassing me. The second round I do, they the ones who are crying. They are now on the ground. Their husband now is on the ground. And women are very, very, you know, women are in trouble, I'm telling you. Women will still be praising the Lord, knowing this fool was trying to prevent me. Now he's sleeping there. And women will just go with the floor. This is my husband. Knowing this is a fool. <laughs> of Naboth was taken. What did the wife do? <laughs> they ki- said so many things. Until the wife came and said, please don't kill him for my sake. The man said, ah, this woman is very smart. Waited until the man died. And he said, go call that woman. I want to marry her. (laughs) Intelligence in priesthood. What do you think you're doing? You as a wife in your house is also priesthood that keeps your marriage. Priesthood. In priesthood, are you able to save your husband? Who according to the Bible is the Lord. I asked you before. Love the church. Love your wife as Christ loves the church. He died for it. And then the Bible says one statement. And cleansed it. By his word he cleanses it. The church. You as a man. How many times have you told your wife. How beautiful she is. The Bible says God cleanses the church. With the word. When did you tell her? Just seeing the hairstyle and go like, you know what, baby? <laughs> Hush! 
you look like a pop in a guava tree. No, I'm looking for something that is very rare. <laughs> I love you beyond what you can think of. Mm. Your beauty is as fundamental as an oasis. Uh, take notes, brothers and sisters. Take notes. This is very important. <laughs> Look at how romantic Adam was. Adam slept, woke up, and saw Eve and said, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. Ah! Now, you see, I don't know. You see, some, some men don't know how to do this thing now. I know what you... Some of you, you think you are ugly. No. The man who should be your husband is afraid. Just sees you like this, like, ah! I can't do that. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> my brother had a friend. And this friend was so scared of women. Now my brother put the game in order. Took this girl and said, now, now, I've already arranged everything. Or you just go and say, I'm the one that he was talking about. Ah, I said, this is easy. You know when the ball is already on the penalt box and there is no keeper? The guy went there, now my brother is following him, following him. He said, oh, you know, you know, baby, my name is this. She said, oh, it's good to know you. <laughs> Nicely. Ha! Now it's done now. He did not take the notes of what else to say after introducing himself. <laughs> now it's one kilometer. He said, ah, it's so hot these days, eh? <laughs> Cows and goats, everything is dying. My brother had to intervene. Just imagine, your Prince Charming is up a tree somewhere trying to wait for you, like Zacchaeus. There's a problem. He can't say nothing. Just take notes from Adam. You see a beautiful lady, just go, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. Trust it. Try it. You will see it. Try it. I know it looks like cheesy. Try it. <laughs> Baby, are you faith? No, my name is not faith. Okay, I thought you were faith because I'm faithful. <laughs> you are not hearing here. <laughs> I'm teaching you priesthood now. The art of persuasion. <laughs> you just see a beautiful girl and say, can I talk to you? Yes. When, when did you arrive? So you arrive from where? <laughs> I, th I thought God was missing an angel up there. <laughs> I'm not going to go deeper on it, but now you understand what I'm talking about. Priesthood is all about persuasion. Fire on the altar. You are a priest. Persuasion. Some of your problems require more persuasion in prayer. You are looking for a job that your neighbors, your whole genealogy has never found. And it. Your idea is you can do two minutes praying and it will be working. No, it doesn't work. Tell your neighbor, it will not work. 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 I said what? It will what? It will not work. La suma kaba. Simalish kebereto ziyama. Now. So. Most of you. Have you ever prayed. And realized that as you prayed. <laughs> as you prayed. Have you ever noticed as you prayed. There is a time where words no longer make sense. You've gone, you've said all the words you needed to say. I know some of you, it happens in two minutes. 
But you need to get into the tongue side of it after the two minutes. Move into tongues. You are now downloading spiritual data from heaven. As you're downloading spiritual data, you know how to convince God. Not because he needs convincing. I've been telling you here, right now, priesthood is all about the art of persuasion. Moses operating in the priesthood, he said, God, repent from your anger. Huh? Repent from your anger. You are telling God to repent, and the Bible is the audacity to tell us, and God repented from his anger. What is really taking place? What is inside priesthood that makes it so special? What do you need from God now, this night of Easter? Why do you think God reached the shepherds first to tell him, to tell them about Jesus? Do you know why? Because the shepherds were priests. Since they were, they were shepherds abiding in the village, in that field, abiding means constant abode, permanent abode. That's where they stay. If you live in Britain and you're watching me now, it is called indefinite leave to remain in the field. That's what they had. A visa that makes you stay in Britain forever. It's called indefinite leave to remain. That's what they were. This is the reason why if you read, it says in the book of Luke, and they were in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Mm. And lo, an angel of the Lord I want you to understand what is conspicuously absent. And the glory of the Lord shone round about them and they were so afraid. And the angel of the Lord said, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. Why? They were priests. They were being told you no longer need to work as shepherds anymore. You didn't hear me. Because the one that is coming is the real lamp. So you no longer need to burn these ones on the altar. For I'm bringing you one that will actually do this. So now glad tidings. Be glad. Your job is no longer this. You are now going back to be the real priest. Watch this. We shall be to all the people. Mm. For unto you is born this day in the city of David. A savior which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. I want you to see the direction of where the, the cave was. It's coming, the direction. So you know the shepherds just ran to the location. They were given a tom tom, satellite navigator. Mm -hmm. Suddenly there was with the angel a multitude, a myriad of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Goodwill toward men. Mm. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven. The shepherds said one to another, let us go into Bethlehem. Who told them? Who told them he was in Bethlehem? Who told him the actual location? Okay, you say, oh, he said, David, let's go. And see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known unto us. Mm. And they came with a haste. Speed, they went to the right location and found Mary. Wait a minute. Who told them the direction? The angels never spoke the directions because they were priests. So they knew what they had been told was a lamp is born. So they ran straight because they, they kept the sheep that were supposed to be used for sacrificing. So they went to the actual cave where these sheep that are pregnant or heavy with little lambs normally take a sheep that is about to give birth so that it can be kept for a year before the sacrifice. So they knew the cave. They just went straight to the cave. And why was Jesus in swaddling clothes? 15, 15, 15. Are you getting this? Now imagine, it says he was wrapped in swaddling clothes. Right? And it came to us as the angel, 14, let's go 14. Glory be to God highest on the earth. Good will toward men. Meaning say, there is good tidings, good news. Everything is now happening. But watch this. He says, and wrapped in swaddling clothes. Why? 
Why? Why was it 12? He's saying ripped in swaddling clothes. Because the lamb that was supposed to be sacrificed is supposed to be a without blemish. So when they would rip the, when they would take the sheep that is about to give birth, they would take the little lamb, wrap it in swaddling clothes so that it doesn't bump against it. Bang its head and become one with blemish. And it couldn't fit for sacrifice. So when they were told the child would be wrapped in swaddling clothes, they knew this is the real lamb to replace the other lambs. So they were priests. That's why the angels went to the shepherds. Didn't go to the priests that were in the temple. Didn't go to the Pharisees. Didn't go to prophets. Went to priests. Announcing the birth and the death of Christ is up to you. Showing people to move like this. This is not necessary. How many people have you brought to Christ? If you really believed he died for you. How many people have you told about Christ? Most of these people who are here is because of Miracle TV. Miracle TV is a better evangelist than you. You should be becoming better evangelists than you. You are afraid to carry your Bible. You are afraid. You are an embarrassment to what Christ did. There is no more hunger. If you look at evangelism departments, People don't even know how many they brought to Christ. No statistics. It doesn't mean anything to you. Because you are a wrong priest. Imagine the wood was being brought by families. That means the wood itself was different. There were families that were good at preparing real wood. And some would bring wood that is not dry. And what was the law of the offering? It would bend through the whole night. How many all nights did you do? I've told you before, if you're a woman, you are a wife, a man, you can't let your wife pray for you. I'm not saying she shouldn't pray. But you should also be, while she's sleeping, kneel by that sofa. Put a blanket on top. Don't be naked while he's preaching, praying. No, I don't believe in prayers in the shower. The Bible says when the disciple was fishing in the middle of the sea and Christ appeared at the banks, they some thought it's an apparition. Some thought in the cold, the disciple. And the disciple took the jacket that was in there, wore the jacket. That's what the Bible says. Put on his coat. And he went diving into that Galilee water, cold. He knew, I cannot appear before the Lord naked. But naked. Saying, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I know you. I just like singing in the shower. Thank God. I did not say, don't, but it's not as serious as a main one. I'm not saying don't pray when you're in the shower. But understand, there is a certain kind of decorum that priests should have. Okay, I want to ask you one thing. You hear now that Jesus is in the auditorium now. Would you remove your clothes so you can run? <laughs> priests have a decorum, a way of operating. Moving everywhere, just running around. No, have a location every morning. I'm about to finish. Have your location every morning where you kneel down. You say, this is my location. I know if I don't find my wife in bed, I know exactly where to go and find her. It's one location where she would be praying with the Bible open every morning. I know exactly where she would be. The Bible says when Jesus left Capernaum early in the morning, great while before it was day, he went to pray. Great while. The one who knows the modalities of a day, who create the, created the modus operandi of a day, the way it operates, woke up early in the morning before it was daylight to pray. Even God who created the day knew it is dangerous to end a day where you have not prayed. 
It's dangerous to end a day where you have not deposited fire into. It's foolishness. You can't. It's a spiritual crime to get in there. Demons need something that bend them before you walk into the day. Some of you have been walking the day and there are so many things. Behemoth has been taking a chip of you every time. What do you possess? Right this minute. Right, raise your right hand. Even viewers around the world. This is the moment. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Because I know most of you. The clothes you wore today, did Jesus choose them? Or it is just your style. You don't care. You just do it. Smooth. Yes, yes. I got nice clothes today. I'm going to wear this one. Then next day I'm wearing this one. Then next day this one. No. No, 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 no. It has to be something that your relationship with God now, you know, ah, we have a book here called Hello Holy Spirit. Just a book where you, you fraternize with the Holy Ghost. He becomes a friend. So this thing does not become too tedious, too laborious, like a ritual, too ritualistic. No. It has to be something when you approach it, it's friendly. You can talk to God about anything. The problem why you think prayer is difficult because you're not a priest. Priests will talk to God about what people are doing. They would speak. Have you spoken to God about what is happening in your life? You think he already knows. Yeah, he knows, he knows, he knows. Yeah, he knows. But he still needs the conversation. Can you sit down with him and just talk? I can tell you many times I sat down with the Lord and he just talked. And the problem with God is, as you raise your hand right now, the problem with God is he doesn't know that you were not hearing him. One time I was, I was in the car, one time, I was in the car, driving in Manchester, driving to a place called Ashton Underline. As I was driving like this, middle, seven miles, mid journey, the Lord appeared in my car and said, as I was saying, I said, when? <laughs> he continued with the conversation. Why are you continuing with the conversation? I don't know we were saying these things. He was saying them, but my spirit was not active. So I had a problem with my antenna. I couldn't catch the impulses of the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, this man you see as you raise your hand now, this man you see has been deep into the mountains of God. I've seen the eyes of God. I've spoken to him. He has looked into my eyes. I've seen him. I've talked to him. I was sitting there with the Lord. Not once, not twice, not three times, not ten times, not twenty times, many times, countless times, we all say, this is the Lord. At one time, I was praising myself in the house with my wife in Ashton Underline, number three, High Peak Road. I was praising myself. I said, you know, baby, I've caught the, the secret of getting God to visit you. Pray seven hours, because I was doing seven hours those days. And I was doing seven hours, so I said, if you pray seven hours, God will visit you. I'm telling them, I'm telling her, I'm telling this. Ah, she's like, seven hours, so God will visit. I said, every time. I had calculated based on my seven hours, that every time after seven hours, God would appear. Right there, as I said it, the Lord came into the room, walked, as you can hear the sound of the footsteps, and looked at me with lightning shots in his eyes. He said, so you think I appear to you because you pray seven hours? With anger. You have not seen God, you. <laughs> Angels themselves, when they appear, they say, fear not. What do you think Jesus will do? <laughs> who will buy you pampas? <laughs> but if you start treating him as a friend now, it becomes easy when you see him walk through. The technology to have that relationship is priesthood. What do priests do? They offer a sacrifice. What is the wood that should be arranged in order? It's your sacrifice because the Bible says carry your cross daily. That's why Jesus was sacrificed on a cross, which is a wood, which is wood. Because wood is the one that is used to bend the sacrifice. So everything you see, you see Jesus on a tree. 
I know what you think. You think a cross was like this. No. The Bible says, cursed is everyone weighing it upon a tree. They would take a log like this. And they sacrifice here. Here is where they, the prince were put in. Not here. It would drip. They were put here. And he remained on that cross. Do you know what he died of? Of heartbreak. And that's what happens when the rupturing of the heart happens. What happens? Blood and water comes out. He died of heartbreak. Imagine his creature using the nails he created and the hammer he created to nail him to a cross which is wood he created. The creature killing the creature on some creation that he made. That's what the Bible says. They shall kill you thinking they are doing me a favor. This world is lost. But if you understand what Easter is, it is to change your anatomy, to change your molecular structure. You can become what they have never seen. Listen to me now. Because of Christ's death, Christianity is no longer a religion. It's a relationship. Because of Christ's death, Christianity at its lowest level, it should equal voodoo. No, you didn't hear me. What you think Christianity is now is a bad imitation of the original thing. What we know Christianity to be now is fake. A very bad imitation of the real thing that players pretending to be called of God are showering you with. It's not Christianity. Real Christianity Real Christianity, when you take it at the slowest level like this, it is like witchcraft. Who among here has demonstrated Christianity that some people, some people say, I want to buy it? When Paul demonstrated Christianity, a witch, a wizard came and said, hey, Please, can I get a small amount of your Christianity for money? And guess what he did? He turned around and showed him the real witchcraft of Christianity. You shall be blind for a season. Ah, ah. You shall die with your own money. Ah. What are you talking about? Who have you blinded lately? <laughs> I said, who have you blinded lately? The great prophet. Forget about these young people calling themselves prophets, having prophesying. This, this is just a lie. It's young, young boys. <laughs> Do you know the great old Subemba? Very short like this. When we talk about people who started calling out names when in the prophetic, it is old Subemba. <laughs> the man looks like he has his own rules with God. He doesn't even prophesy to you. He will tell you, I give you five days. This enemy of yours will die. And will die in a fire. Will die like this, like this, like this. He's not predicting. He's deciding. <laughs> if you look into his history, you realize people are saying this, you did this, you did this. The cow dung. <laughs> the cow dung. There is what? power of the ox. He got there when somebody was saying, angel, and this one, and this one, these ones are using the demonic powers. I gave them the power. He went, he was, he had it. He went to the studio. And this guy who, in Ghana who is making noise, was making noise a few years back, was sitting in chair like this, speaking on radio. He said, now, if you gave this angel and this prophet you're talking about the power, I don't know them, I don't talk to them. Stand up. And if you stand up and you know it's a lie, you will die here. The man started begging on live radio, but I have no problem with you. I have not mentioned your name. He said, I know, but these people you just mentioned are also prophets. So now, stand up if you, you are telling the truth. But if you are lying, you will die here. 
And if you don't die, I'm a false prophet. You know the end of the story. He remained sitting. Seated down. Eh, sorry, sir. Sorry. You. You are running away from everyone. No, 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 no. What stops us from attacking our enemies is two things. Number one, I'm a prophet. Number two, number one, I'm a prophet and I can. Number two, I also act as a father. So sometimes you look and just say, ah, it's all right. Don't worry. It's, this one is it's what it is. It's the son. One day you will correct his ways and come back to understanding something. Because sons always mess up. <laughs> you see my real sons? That's why I say to people, I love people who have left me more than those who never left. I love everyone. But the ones I love the most are the ones who left. And when they and realize there is nothing there. Now they are back with their minds settled. They know they could not create anything there. These ones, huh, I love them. The ones who are like you, who have never gone anywhere. You think there is something out there? Please go. We will have your chair when you come back. It will be in the overflow. <laughs> we understand this. There is a way. One of our pastors, who the first one to be deployed, left. Right? Came back after how many years? Maybe seven years, maybe whatever it is. And I said, no problem. Let him come here. He even works here now. Yes. Not as a pastor. He works around the hippodrome here. That's true, sir. With the whole church. <laughs> Started his own church. Members even left our church. We even had to restart. But that was way back there. I don't have anyone who running, who running away with the church. It's the last time you run. You'll be able to run. Ah, this time. <laughs> Ach! Toba, toba, mlomo inguku. I never run away with whose church? Try now. Try it. <laughs> now, <laughs> you come back with your cousins. <laughs> that time is over. It used to happen. This time, we're here. Uh, the following day, you'll be back. You, how many people have stolen from you? During the days of the year of Ruach, a lady, a thief, stole a bank. She came here and said, Prophet, she came to the um, Grenaside Church. Said, Prophet, someone stole my clothes. I said, God of, you better angel. Go back home. She was in the room at around 3, 2 a.m. there, midnight, it says. Wind just blew the door She, she thinks she's dreaming. She woke up, realized she's not dreaming. She goes to try and close the, the door of the whole house. And the bag is there. Guess what? The bag is there with the poster of Ruach anointing on top. That's true. Sir. Yet wind is blowing. Anyone who stole from you, by reason of this conference, You shall be able to see beyond and be able to collect. Begin to pray wherever you are. Begin to pray. Yes, you sir. shall collect. Oh,
You shall collect. Jesus. You see, sometimes we, we try everything that we think will work. Hmm? Your problem is you're logged into one area. One area, say, I need to prosper in this direction. And that door, you have tried to knock it and knock it and knock it and it is still not open. And you think, maybe next time, maybe if I do this cloth thing and I stand like this and I do this, maybe this will work. Maybe they will recognize me. Yes, that's this is where your problem is. You are locked in one location. Leave that location. I'm coming to tell you what you need to do. Don't worry. This system is going to be, the sickness is going to be over. Eh? Because... This is a mother. And this was going to be victory. It was going to be victory hospital. It was going to be in Cape Town if you had not come here. Jesus. Your mother. She's at Cape Town. She's in Cape Town now. Yes. It was going to be death that will come quickly like this. But because you came today. Amen. I cancel death in the name of Jesus. Don't worry, my brother. Don't, don't worry. Are you a visitor? No, I'm from the Oh, okay. All right. Because this is something that was supposed to be given to you. I'm looking at machinery. Yes, yes, very true problem. I'm looking at machinery. Yes. Then I'm looking at, um, um, like, like trucks. It's like, transport but the machinery part of it that at one time you even thought if I could get yellow machines yes yes that's very I true I can problem. do this yes very but true I problem. saw the angel of the Lord leave this location and went to Macheke 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 I come from Macheke Macheke you come from Macheke 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 prophet that's where I come from prophet prophet I major Today I is see Friday. now there is a wave coming to you and it's going to be of I finances. I receive, prophet. Thank you, major. But Thank I'm seeing a whole move yes. that you have not looked at yet. Yes. Mazunuma. Shumeleka. Zezuma so fresca. Sebelesh Karabina. Sebelesh Kabratusi. Kerame Sumanashke. Hydraulic. Engine oil, gear oil, hey. grease. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
That's the yellow thing you were saying, Major. Semanosh Kebe. Sevalush Kebe, no. So these are the yellow things, right? Yes, Prophet. Yes, Prophet. Perusamane. Sebalash Kagata. Perun is in a bush, Kebendale, yes. I'm coming here, don't worry. Prosperity is already looking for you. Thank you, Major. You are Thank getting you, Major. something. Thank you, Major. Thank you, Prophet. Does he understand English? Like, yeah, he can understand. He can understand. I like Indians, they go like, yeah. So I, I don't know whether it's yeah or no. It is the same as um, Bulgaria. Bulgaria, they do the same. You know that. You don't know. Now, Bulgaria, they don't do like this. Bulgaria, they say no, like this. So imagine prophesying to somebody. I went there and I was prophesying. And everyone was like, yes, yes, yes. I'm like, uh-uh. Is it a no? Is it a yes? God is about to change your hands. Amen. Amen into a real man of God. Amen. You're not hearing me. Amen. I'm seeing the apostolic upon your life. Amen. I receive. What's your name, sir? Mohan. Mohan. Yeah. Oh. Prophecy, Prophecy. Sit down. Sit down there. Prophecy. Tell him, please, to what we're saying so that we don't have to use sign language. Stand up. See, him... What is the last degree of cancer? It's stage what? That's where he is. Yes, huh? yes you are true, Papa. Huh? Yes. It's stage four. Stage four cancer. Help him, prophet. As I stand here, I can locate his own father in the grave. Huh? Huh? Yes, Papa. This is this area here. That's why he died. This area inside. Yes, you are true, Papa. Like kidney. It's true. Yes, true. What is it? Kidney failure issue. Yes. Kidney failure. So I'm seeing the father is dead. And the same thing is looking for you. By reason of priesthood. Bah! Amen. Amen. I'm not talking about him now, but let me talk to you. We are fishers of men. That means you are a fish. That was won by a fisherman. Until you are won, you remain a fish. But imagine dishing a fish to someone and they have the flesh to eat the fish. But when the fish gets to the bones and you bring it to Jesus. No, you did not get it. Right now you are excited outside there playing around, doing all sorts, you're okay with it. But imagine you're still full of life. But when nothing is left for God to use, you come for Jesus. You know how I located him? I saw a coffin. And I knew what it was. And then just for him to know, I knew him is I had to go to the father who is dead to look for what killed him. Because I saw the same spirit from there going there. This is where the problem is with you people. Oh, I am. Sit down, brother. Sit down, just sit down. One time in London, I was praying for somebody, two of them. And I went there and prayed like this. 
then God made me to change my hand and prayed for someone. And the person had stage four cancer. Yes, it was only two weeks. That's true. It was gone. Yes. No more cancer. That's right. It is possible to change lives. Yes, sir. I said it is really possible oh, yes. to change lives. Yes, Tonight I understand because of time. You people have to go and stuff like that. Ah, come on. I know you, you have to go somewhere. You have no houses. These guys are like, yeah, 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 this is our house. I, I really did not think of coming here to minister or do anything. I ministered in the word, yes. There's a woman here. Come here, I want to. Please give me a mantle. Give me a mantle. Where are you coming from? You, you, so you, you live around here? Yes, I come here. You even day. have this. Wow. Now, you come here. I sweep this church To sweep here? Yes. Hi. That's true, sir. That's true. Who knows your problem here? Who, who did you tell your problem? Oh, you know this problem? You know this problem? Yes, yes. Part of it. Okay, tell me what you know. I just know about the visa being denied. A visa is being denied? Yeah. Yeah. For the granddaughter? Yes. Okay, what else did you... I know do you that know one. Day. You know that part? That okay. part one. Okay, I'm coming. Professor. <laughs> right. This, this, you see, this track is not doing anything. Hmm? Because it's ministry. You're not getting it. Yes, Papa, yes, Papa. I said, are you together? It's ministry. Yes. That is the focus. Yes. Hmm? These tracks, nothing is gone. Yes. Hmm? Yes. It's finished now. It's finished. Yes, Papa. Yes. When did it end, this track? During COVID. During COVID. Yes. The tracks gone. Yes. yes. Oh, jeez. That's like this. <laughs> now, this is a small thing. Yes, Papa. Yes. Ministry is, but you should raise your pants up. Yes. Hmm? Yes, Papa. Yes. She should not reduce a fire. Yes. You should just have fire more than hair. Yes, very true. And this suspicion yes. that she's doing something, yes. leave it in from your head. Amen. Yeah? This is causing an argument. Yes. Huh? Am I yes. talking to you? Yes, you are talking to me. Mm -hmm. yes. You suspected her now. Yes. That you were even planning to, rec to tap her phone, to uh. record it, if I know what is on her phone. Uh. Huh? Amen. Relax. Huh? Yes. 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 <laughs> Do you want me up here? Fire on the altar. I see, I see fire. Fire! 
Jesus. Come. Come here. You. Now, this is a problem. Yes. You want to start something. Yes. But this is not working. Yes. Because I see you trying to, you want to, if you can have just a small thing to sell. Yes. Because I saw your eyes looking even for South Africa. Yes. But it has not been working. Because as I began to move, I looked at this place and I went to a certain location in town here. And I saw myself going to my salsa park. I saw myself before I get to row I ten. Yes. Mavuku. Yes, that's right. And in the realm of the spirit, it's like the Lord had captured you for his own. Yes, that's true. And like where the Bible was saying that when King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. And that scripture, like I told you, it is butchered by many pastors. Because it doesn't mean to say somebody has to die for you to see the Lord. Because Uzziah was the favorite king of Isaiah. They were friends. But Isaiah was now depending on Uzziah. So God said, no, 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 no. You depend on this man so much. So I need to take him so that you can change your sources to me. That's why sometimes don't rely on any person. That's why you can't change how I preach. I don't preach by invitation. I preach by commandment. You cannot tell me what to preach. I can't go to a pastor's church and they say, please preach about this. Please don't, don't preach about the other thing. No. I will preach about what God tells me to preach. Now, come here. So, this is the problem. It's going very badly for you. Yes. In the sense that there should be a structure by which you survive. Even your mother now. It's hand to mouth. Yes. It's hand to mouth. Yes. Because the man Oh, the man that is married to your, ma to your mother is yes. not your father. That's true. The name of the man is called John. Yes, yes. That's John your stepfather. Obit, yes. <laughs> yes, Papa. Professor. She is confirming the man is John. It's true. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's not just that your mother, your mother and father. Liko maliyane, ifrito gumarke askledushkebe. It's not that your mother and your father yes. don't love each other anymore. They yes. don't. Yes. But he did a step further. He denied you and said you are not his child. Yes, That's true. Come, the prophet is here. Tomorrow, you pick up 1,000 US dollars. Say I see fire, fire on the old fire. Say I see fire, fire on the old fire. I see fire, fire on the old fire. Say I see fire, I see fire, fire, fire. Say I see fire. I think, why 1,000? She was just looking for 300. And then she said, if I get 500, she removed her faith from there. So we went double her expectation. Thank you! Thank you, man. Yes, I see fire! Thank you! Fire on the ocean, fire! Yes, I see fire! Fire on the ocean! Mama, this lady, I saw a journey, and this was South Africa. Hmm? Where were you? This was South Africa. Yes, father. This is not even your child, it's your granddaughter. Yes, father. But the father came from England. Yes. Yes, 
Yes, Father. He came and he said he's not going to take his daughter. Until he gets his daughter. But he's refusing. He's failing. The man made a journey. Came all the way. South Africa. Now. He's going back now. No visa. Is it possible that we can get into the British system and hack it spiritually? Is it possible? By priesthood, it is possible. Priesthood is the art of convincing God. <clears throat> Let's flip a coin. Heads, I'm yours. Tails, you are mine. All the outcomes, you still win. You did not hear this one. I said all the outcomes, you still win. <laughs> She's saying we found grace. She said we found grace. Zeloma Shekebaka, Endro Valiska Dalusia. In the name of Jesus. We break into satanic warehouses. We plunder what the enemy stole from us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In a few minutes, I'll be done with this small, small intro we are doing now. Tomorrow is a different night. I don't know whether they have, you have a meeting in the afternoon. I don't know. Maybe for leaders, I have no idea. Let me just say, pastors and pastors, pastors. If you are called a pastor, you need to be in the ancillary hall. I don't know what it's called. Okay? Ancillary hall, uh, tomorrow by 1 p.m. You need to be in there. If you don't know if you are a pastor, ask someone. Pastor, assistant pastor is still pastor. So don't say, they said pastor. They didn't say assistant. I need you in there. All right? In the afternoon. Yes, uh -huh. You'll meet prophetess in there. All right? Me, we are going to do what is called extreme prophetic in the evening. If I say extreme... <laughs> Even me, I consider it extreme prophetic. Ah! As we eat, as we carry my image. Good news music. Come on, let's sing it out. Good news. Yeah. Everybody, let's sing it out. Where is the lady? Lord, I'm grateful. Where is the lady? For the 1,000. I think it is. She's Where's coming. Pastor Felix? She's coming. Can you count it because it might be missing. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's one thousand dollars profit. That's it now. One thousand dollars. And I'll be handing it over profit. Now. Yes, my sister. Your one thousand. Thank you. Yes, she is counting it again, prophet. So loud. And it's one thousand. Yes, it again. And again. And again. Yes, done it again. Yeah. Put your touch up. When it's in my seat, when it's in the machine, you put the one who won't fight you, kid. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell the world of what he has done for me. He's so kind and loving and faithful through the way. Jesus, wait. 
Brother Devier has just heard from God to give you $2,000. So now you are living with $3,000 now. Thank you so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just work your hands and Yes, I see the limbo. Yes, I see you heal the sick. Yes, I see good news everywhere. Kupa baka tiga tiga, pe moyo wangu mwari. Bangu ndi nshayi wa mashoko. So kind and loving and faithful to the way. Another confirmation of prophecy. Another confirmation of prophecy. Give by you, they go. A confirmation of prophecy. When you were prophesying to this young lady prophet, you just say something. You say it. You are trying to pursue something whereby you'll be wearing clothes and waiting to be selected. She has been pursuing modeling this young lady. Right as you said, prophet. Is a confirmation of prophecy. Yes. More is coming. You know.
Jesus. Are we separated? Yes, good news everywhere. Let's go. Everything is easy, somebody! All right again, all right again. Mr. Miracle again. It's so phenomenal. Blessing is easy. Miracles are easy. Forgiveness is easy. Everything is easy. With good news, it be easy. Get them fixed out of season. With faith, it is easy. Never doubt or reason. Anything is easy. Easy, easy. Everything is easy. Easy, easy. My life not be easy. Easy, easy. God make it easy. Easy, easy. Winning is easy. Easy. Loving is easy. Easy. Giving is easy. My success and excellence So easy and eloquent A hundred percent They call it faith I call it grace Cause I am blessed And I never fail No, what is impossible to the world Is possible with the Lord Anything is easy Easy, easy Everything is easy Whatever I want 
prophesying in my life every day and night. I'm speaking rhema, prophesying good news every day and night. Hey, anything is easy. Papa Abraham, even Sister Esther will agree with Brother Lazarus. What can be too hard for the Lord? Absolutely nothing. What can be too hard for the Lord? Hey, absolutely nothing. Salvation is easy. Easy. Believing is easy. Easy. Healing is easy. Easy. Faith is easy. Easy. Anything is easy. Jesus, God catcher. Are you ready to catch God, somebody?
Somebody catch God! Jesus, the money is coming. Let's go. The money is coming. Let's go. No, no, no. Yeah, it's your boy.
Abracadabra. Abracadabra. This I decree and declare to somebody here. Whatever you shall speak, shall be created. Whatever you shall speak, Abracadabra. I create as I speak. And I carry power, the Holy Ghost lives in me. My words are a weapon to produce all I need. Jesus, my Messiah, and He is all I need. He is all I need. I feel Jesus' speak. And I carry power, the Holy Ghost lives in me. My words are a weapon to produce all I need. Jesus, my Messiah, and He is all I need. He is all I need. I'm not a doubt, Better on the count. 
Jah my blessing. So I sing, on only one with you, my praises. Holy, holy. I'm singing with the angel. Jesus. Raise your hands, everybody, and everyone on your feet. Everyone on your feet. Sananonkre eftale groske de blanca tushia. Verusafilia onkre ketusha. Pratazu tale. Blessed be his holy name. Yes, prophet. We are still going to be going in into worship and praise. So don't think we are. We are done. Mm, the night is too young. <laughs> As you understand, the building is ours. And the landlady said we can be here till next year. So we are excited to be here. Salomon Kravetas Kosisun. Raise your hands for you are. Father, in the name of Jesus, we appreciate you, we honor you, we love you. And in this hour, right this minute, as we come into our offering and our tithing time, let it be known that there is one thing, one component of priesthood that changes the dimensions of our capacities. And it is a sacrifice. We decree and declare even those viewers around the world and those who are here now, that is their sacrifice and their seed and their offering and their tithing is handed to God and to you, Father, in the name of Jesus, to you, Father. I decree and declare that that offering, like the days of the priest, Samuel, when he was given a cloth by his mother and it was just a jacket. But when he grew into priesthood, the jacket became an effort, a priestly garment. Change whatever money they have, whatever offering they have, whatever seed they have into an effort. Let it become a priestly garment that you see it differently. You see it's a something that is greater. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen and amen. Raise your seat before the Lord. Viewers all over the world, the promptings are on your screen. You can do whatever you can do. I believe the promptings here appear only in Zimbabwe, I believe. These are not the ones that are appearing internationally, right? Internationally, you have others. All right, that's all right. Because we don't want somebody to think, where is Kwame Guruma in New York? Might be a problem, you know? So I says, okay, what is the Nostro account uh -huh, in Kwame Nguruma? We don't want to confuse our New York people. Thank you so very much. And as you have it, just raise it up high. It is your seed that you give God to God. Don't give out of compulsion, out of being forced to give. The right thing about the priesthood is understanding the technology that changes dimensions. And that priesthood is something that changes the game. Father, some are giving by cards, some are giving online. Whatever it is, whatever way, I sanction that seed to produce a bamba harvest that will shock their friends and their enemies. In Jesus' mighty name, this Easter, let this offering mean more than it has ever meant for them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Come and drop it. Come and drop it.
allow them to come allow them to come this side expand the dimensions so that we quickly do this run on this side you can come this side guys and those online that are giving online thank you so very much this is an Easter conference it's an Easter season do the best you can do Giving with the intention to receive is not a sin. But the Bible says, if a seed does not die, if it doesn't fall to the ground and dies, it will not produce much. In other words, are you killing your seed as you give it? Or you keep remembering it? Tithers come over. If you are a tither, I believe they I believe we have tithers today. If you are a tither. If you are a tither, those who are online, there are some that are giving by way of television and by way of telephone rather. And I understand it is normally Sunday we do so, but there are some that just brought their tithe anywhere. And I pray that the sister that has received 3,000 US dollars be able to hire a guard, security to go home. Because not all of us are here for God. You'll be so shocked. People are in the church and someone says, I lost my phone. Someone stole my phone. You're like, what? In church? Wow. How evil can you be? Father, I pray for these tithers in the name of Jesus and those around the world we're watching by way of Zoom, our channels around the world. Guyana, Good News TV there. Good News TV around the world. Miracle TV, which is now your Miracle TV. Father, we thank you for their tithing right this minute in Jesus' mighty name. Do wonders for them. Don't forget them this year of miracle and honey. In Jesus' name, amen. Just drop it there. You can do better than that. I didn't ask you to clap. So if you are doing it by your own accord, you got to do it. Let it make sense. Prophet. Yes. I'm now handing over the additional 2,000 to the young lady now. Ah. Additional 2,000. Additional two thousand. Two thousand. Yes. Mm -hmm. the I additional two thousand. We are not seeing it there. It's now on the screen, Prophet. They are cutting your whole head. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So now you have three thousand dollars. Mm. Imagine a church you go to and you live with money. Most churches you go with money. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. You see what happens with a church that corporate? Someone says, I hear God. Some people hear God only when it's to receive. Someone is hearing God and saying, I, I heard that I should give 2,000. That's the church we like. Thank you so Hear much. Hear God concerning giving, not just receiving. Thank you so very much. Viewers all over the world, we love you so very much. And we thank you for being part and parcel of this great conference. And hear me well, there is no distance in prayer. There is no barrier in the prophetic. 
the prophetic is a bulldozer. It gets to you. You are protected, heavily guarded, heavenly defended, heavily protected. God protected in the name of Jesus. But we are not done yet. Let's all be on our feet. I just want for... In a world filled with uncertainties, there's a divine purpose woven into a he fabric of your existence. A purpose so unique, it resonates with the miraculous. God, the orchestrator of wonders, has designed a path for you unlike...